the only thing we were missing tonight was hearing and still. But how satisfied are you? Uh, not too satisfied. Uh, I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. I want to fight Pitbull. So until I fight Pitbull, I'm not satisfied. Was that armpit remark planned? Did you have that thought out even before the fight tonight? Well, uh, not really. He just. I've, I've called him that before, you know, I think he stinks, um, I think him and his brother both stink, um, I think I've seen him digress over the last couple of years, so, um, so I get my hands on his so whole um, Are you reminded of incidents they've had in the past with fighters like Ill Will Brooks, and does that motivate you, the fact that they've done some things? Uh, not really, I can care less about what they're doing, um, I got a squad full of killers, like, if they want to try some stuff with me, it's, we ready, so I'm not really tripping about that. I know they won't try anything like that. Uh, but just like they won't try anything like that, they won't sign the paper. So um, I'm waiting for him to stop hiding, okay? Stop signing contracts. You're going damn well, you talking shit. You want, if you want to fight, then scrap. Like, there's no need to hide, bro. You're talking about coming down to 35, all right? If you, I doubt you get past this fight, which is really, like, we, it's kind of sucks for me, you know? Because I really want to beat your fucking ass. 145, you know, but I doubt you get past this fight. So, at the end of the day, it's not really about you, okay? It's about the 145 pound belt. So, whoever has the 145 pound belt, that's my job to get the title, okay? It doesn't matter who it is, okay? Back to the armpit belt. If you do still have the title, okay? If you're still talking about coming down, we can meet at 140, and we can put both belts on the line. What about the fact that he just signed a fight with Emmanuel Sanchez in November? He's a pussy for it. All right then. Physically, how did you feel in there tonight at 145? I felt good. I felt strong. I felt explosive. Um, my timing was right, you know? Um, being out of lines, you know, with, those, with everybody I got around me, you know, I'm always in a scrap, you know? It's, I'm always fighting hard. I always got to intelligently defend myself. So uh, when you got to do that round after round after round after round, when you come into here, it, everything slows down. So. Things kind of slowed down once I got in that cage. I was able to execute the game. But it doesn't seem like you're pleased, is it? I mean, are you not pleased with your performance tonight, or are you just not pleased because that wasn't the guy you wanted? I'm pleased with the performance. I'm just not pleased with the fact that I had uh, a guy who claims to be the best in the world, but he's ducking me, you know? That's as simple as that. Did you take any pleasure in seeing Gallagher lose earlier in the night after the things he'd been saying about you? I mean, I wasn't surprised. It was. It didn't come as a shock to me. Um, I, the kid is still has. He still has room to grow. You know, he, he, he's an up and coming. Let him let him do what he's gonna do. But you gotta stay humble. You know, hopefully that's a humbling experience for him to realize. You know, you really get some killers out here. Um, we're not playing. But my goal is to be a two two division champ. So Gallagher can suck a dick. Thirty five pounder can wait. That forty five pound strap is on my head. I was going to say, do, do you think that result helped you? Because he was saying, you know, don't go, Darren, I got, I got you at 135. The fact that he lost, do you think that makes it clear there is no challenger right now at 135? And yeah, there's no challenger right now. There's no challenger for me at 135. Uh, the, the next fight is for me is Patricio Pitbull. And hey, if his brother wants to jump in, we can go, we can go three rounds. I'll fight Patricio the first two, and then I'll fight his brother the third. He's, he's, he's in quicksand when he's walking. So uh, they're both slow. Um, Patricio is weak as fuck. So... Just give me that fight. What if Patricio did lose? Would you would you would you fight him over fighting for the belt? Again, I want the 145 pound strap. It doesn't matter. He made it a he made it a thing uh, when he disrespected me at, during my interview uh, when, after um, Leandro Higo, um, his cousin. So uh, he made it personal. Um, but the 145 pound strap is going to be mine eventually. As soon as someone, so whenever whenever Bellator is ready for me to fight for the 145 pound title. It's gonna happen. You know, I'm gonna be the champion here. Um, but uh, I'm all for Patricio coming down at 135 and getting his ass kicked. Um, but again, 145 first. I need two straps. You see this? This thing is empty right now. I need two straps. I need two. I know. Then I'm going up. To, then I'm going up to 55, and I want three.
I know you said uh, this win, or, or right now at Bantamweight, there's no clear title challenger for you. But has this win changed your plans at all as to in the future whether you'll ever fight at 135 again? Oh, I'm a 35 pounder for sure. Uh, I know people want me to uh, probably just too advanced for it. But they didn't do that to Ronda Rousey. They didn't say Ronda Rousey, we're going to bring Cyborg in, we're going to fight you right this now. They're waiting for her. I'm a 35 pound champ. If you want to fight me, if you want to take the belt, come try me. But I'm coming to get that 45 pound belt. All in all. You've talked about the Pitbull brothers and being disrespected by them, but Noat Lahat was nothing but respectful leading up to this fight. So how do you feel having faced him and had that respect from him? Well, for me, it's always harder to fight a guy who respects me because and doesn't really talk crap because, I mean, I'm a fighter who fights off fury and fights off rage, you know? I don't been through a lot of things in my life where, you know, I, I like to really dislike a person and want to put my hands on him. So to go in there and fight in a while, it wasn't really that satisfying to beat up on him, but it was good to get the win. Right on.